Hi everyone, happy May Day. It's Lori Root with uh, Game Fish and Parks, naturalist in Rapid City. I just wanted to wish you a happy May Day. I think back to the May Days that we had as a child and we had some really fun traditions, but not very many of those would be appropriate for this day and age. Fun, but not appropriate for this day and age. So I was thinking about what video to do today and we get a lot of requests for plant programs and I was thinking about the plants that I know and that I like to share with people and I thought about the plant class I took in college. I learned a lot of plants but do you know how many I remember? None, you're right, because I memorized them and I had to know them for the class. But this year, I've decided that I'm going to start a nature journal, and it's going to be on plants, and I am going to actually look at the plants. In my head, I know what these plants are. Like, for example, let's take the Mayday flower, also known as the crocus, or the pasque flower. It's the state flower. When I see one of those, my brain says, oh, there's a pasque flower. But I've never really stopped to just look closely at a pasque flower. And a nature journaling class I was taking said, there's three things that you should uh, do. It suggested anyway that this would be a way to observe. Is number one was to notice. So look at the plant and notice some things. If you have a, a nature journal with you, that'll really help you to keep track of those things. So just write some of that stuff down, sketch it if you want. Doesn't have to be a perfect sketch. You know what it means. Um, write down some of the things that you notice. What do you, what kinds of things do you notice? Write all those down. So then the second thing is, I wonder. So while you're doing this, you may come up with some questions about this plant that when you start noticing things that you haven't noticed before. So jot those questions down in that nature journal too. So now we have, I notice, I wonder, and then the third thing is, it reminds me of. So a lot of times there's things that um, I like today. I saw a magpie when I was on my way out here and when it took off flying its tail feathers kind of wobbled in the air like a, a rooster pheasant. So now I have an it reminds me of. So let's do that with our flowers and I took a picture of a little video of some uh, past flowers that I saw in the woods the other day. So I want you to look closely at them with me and think about some of the I wonder, I notice, and it reminds me of. Okay, let's give it a try. So what I noticed about that was there was three plants coming up that were all totally different stages. There was the little bud in the middle that had just poked through and then one that was just starting to open and one that was all the way open. I noticed there was a little white thing sticking up in the middle of the plant. I never noticed that before in all the times I'd seen crocuses. Um, I noticed that it was really hairy on the stems and I wondered why does it have those stem or those um, hairs on there? So that's my that's what was one of my I wonders, um, and I noticed that there was a bug in it. I've always seen bugs in them, so my I wonders would be like 
I wonder why it's so hairy. I wonder why there's always a bug in there. I wonder what that little white thing sticking up is and what it's for. And one of the things that I noticed was missing from that flower was leaves. I wonder what the leaves looks like, look like, or where are the leaves? I, I know they have leaves. I've seen them with leaves before. So we did the uh, I notice, I wonder. And what was the third thing? Oh yeah, right. It was, it reminds me of. So the thing that past flowers remind me of, I every May Day, I picked a bouquet of past flowers for my grandmother. Really big deal. Most people brought them, you know, bring people other kinds of flowers. But for my grandma, I brought her a bouquet of past flowers and it was a big deal to her. And so it made makes me remember my grandma every time I see a past flower. So give it a whirl and let's compare field journals one of these days. Um, give me a call, shoot me an email, show me what you've done, and um, I might even share some of mine with you. Happy May Day, everyone.